Is this true? Michael Avenatti, who's in jail, who, re who represented Stormy Daniels, wants to uh, testify on behalf of well, uh, he, Donald yeah, Trump? He, vol he, he volunteered his services. Avenatti is in federal prison in Los Angeles, serving a 19-year sentence for extortion, tax evasion, embezzlement, among other federal crimes. He's been an outspoken critic of Trump, even calling for his indictment in 2018. But he tells the New York Post he's been in contact with Trump's attorneys and says he'd be willing to testify for the former president. Avenatti says there's no question the trial is politically motivated because they're concerned that he may be reelected. If the defendant was anyone other than Donald Trump, this case would not have been brought at this time. Michael Avenatti, if he testifies, uh, could, you know, undermine the entire government's case mm -hmm. uh, in, in how this deal was negotiated with Michael Cohen. I think this is the wrong case at the wrong time, Ari. Um, I, I think that the case is in many ways stale at this juncture. You're talking about conduct that occurred some eight years ago. Uh, I think the uh, fact that it's occurring in state court in New York uh, is a mistake. Uh, and I think that when you are going to uh, potentially deprive tens of millions of Americans uh, of their choice for the presidency of the United States, whether we agree with those folks or not, or regardless of what we may think of Donald Trump, I think it's a mistake to do it based on a case of this nature. Hmm. Um, I, I was hoping, frankly, that uh, there would have been less hand-wringing, uh, less bedwetting, and that the January 6th case would have been filed in a more timely manner. There's no excuse or reason as to why that case could not have been brought in 2021, and it should have been brought in 2021. And had it been brought in 2021, we would not find ourselves in the situation that we're in right now. To those uh, who were hoping that perhaps this the last few years would, uh, you know, ultimately destroy me, I've got some bad news for them, and that is that it hasn't. Mm. Uh, I'm going to come out of this uh, better and stronger than ever, and, uh, you know, every day I strive to make sure that this does not define me. Uh, I believe this will be ultimately, you know, a chapter in a in a very long book, as opposed to the book. Why don't you show What's some disgusting respect? is why don't you, you show some respect to my client not. and me and stop calling us a porn star and a creepy porn lawyer? If you've got that big a well, problem with porn, thought, do you have that wait, big wait, a problem? I'm with not porn? making fun of. When's oh, the last time? Slow when's down. The last, when's the last time you saw porn? Oh, you busted me. Actually, maybe humiliation time? porn. No, That's but, why I watch you on CNN. No, no, no but when's the last time you? When's the last <laughs> time you viewed? When's the last time you viewed porn? You're a little creepier even than I realized. Do you have a problem with porn? You're What's dodging the, the question that I have asked you, you repeatedly. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe that people that view porn should watch your show? I'm not even sure what that question means.